Hey what's up everybody, this is Aryan Tiger, you are watching Vara Tech and this is the Pixie OS review for the Moto G5 S Plus. So let's get started. <laughs> So being a custom ROM it has some of the fine sprinkled customizations which can be found in setting and the very first can be found in the battery and in the battery icon. So you can customize how your battery icon looks to text, circle and many more. The next up is in the display. Go in display and scroll down and find ambient display. Here you will see the always on display which is a pretty handy feature as it helps you get all your notifications which is pretty dope but keep in mind it consumes a lot of battery now we get some miscellaneous customizations like toast tap animations status bar etc etc also the pretty little thing is the recent ui which we will talk about later it's pretty awesome also we have the accent color which we can change any color we want like i have changed to black also we can change to blue and many colors to choose from also we have the ui style now in the ui style we have the light ui and the dark ui but the black ui this is very dope ui but it is buggy though as you can see if uh, you have the google pixel launcher installed as it has the default launcher you will see that you have no labels and text on the launcher so it's still in beta but the settings application and the notification panel changes to black and it looks pretty dope but i prefer the wallpaper based so it's up to you so next thing is the recent ui and this is by far one of the best customization i like so i have switched to oreo and once i unlock my device and go check the recent panel you will see it is the oreo styled in android pie also let me show you once again if i switch from oreo to pi it requires a system ui restart but it is pretty awesome and it's a welcome feature next up you will find some customization in settings scroll down and you will find the buttons here you can customize your buttons like the volume rocker navigation clear all button and also the navigation bar which if you want extra buttons or the layout also the power menu like you want some some features on your power menu you can customize it also the notification like the status bar icons network traffic indicators lock screen customizations etc etc let's talk about battery the battery on this rom is phenomenal and as you can see i am getting eight hours of on screen time with LT everything turned on and this is the dopest battery backup I have ever got another thing on this ROM which is working pretty fine are the moto actions now not every moto action is working perfectly like the fingerprint gestures were working phenomenally and I have no complaints regarding it also the ambient display includes the pickup and the proximity hand wake which is pretty dope and but the device gestures like the chop chop and the twist to launch camera uh, are a bit more sensitive i would say like you need to perform these actions with little bit more intensity to get it working but as this rom is in beta stage also unofficial developers are working on it now once I install this uh, ROM, I also installed the Pixel 3 port and the photos have been super great and I have no complaints regarding the camera performance. It has been just phenomenal and the night sight mode is just simply jaw dropping. 
as you will come to know with these features as you install this rom and use the pixel 3 port as you can see the photos have incredible detail and on point saturation perfect colors contrast everything is just so fine and it also has the support for the raw image and every photo that you see is untouched unedited straight from the camera application and here is the example for the night site so for the final conclusion we have a rom with perfect performance and perfectly hand-picked customizations not overly done overly added customizations also we have a great rom with a gaming mode dedicated in the settings which you can enable while playing games also the camera performance is just so phenomenal so i think this rom is almost perfect i would say because it have some bugs like the moto actions and the black ui but it's still in beta and unofficial so developers are trying really hard by the way thank you guys for watching press that subscribe button and hit that notification bell